Raise the Red Lantern is probably the biggest, if not one of the biggest, titles in the collaboration Blu-ray box set. Released in 1991, this highly rated drama film is a co-production between China, Hong Kong and Taiwan and is one of the most classic movies I've never seen. So now, I'm going to check out this Blu-ray disc. Hi, I'm the Artie Dance and welcome to Asian Film Fans. Let's take a look at the movie first. A young woman, Song Lian, is forced into marriage by her stepmother after her father dies. She becomes the fourth mistress of the Chen family master. The Chen family tradition decrees that red lanterns are lit at the house of the mistress the master wants to spend the night with, which causes jealousy and spitefulness amongst the other wives. Song Lian quickly learns out who her enemies are, but as she attempts to outwit the other wives and her maid, the consequences of her temper and childish games have a devastating effect at the compound. Unlike our normal reviews, I want to check out the Blu-ray disc, the transfer of the film and the presentation that you get when you buy this box set. So far, of all the discs I've looked at in this collection, this one has my favourite cover. So far. The clear case allows the beautiful cover to stand out with the stunning red tones creating an image of loneliness for Song Lian. And the simple text title works a treat. A simply beautiful cover that seems to have been first used at a French film festival. But like all titles in this collection, the package is really let down by the back cover. Red is the theme colour of this box set and this probably is the perfect movie to show that off. The disc features the same artwork as the front cover, however this is now the second disc in the collection I've noticed there's a printing error with white edges around the top right edge and inner left side ring. Again, not good for a professional product. The inside artwork is an image of Song Lian hugging her blanket, an image from the scene of her first night with the Chen family master. The contents of this dual layer Blu-ray disc comes in at around 40 gigabytes, the same as Judo. The main movie itself takes up 37 gigabytes, which kind of makes sense as it goes for about two hours. The movie is presented in its original 1.85 to 1 format, meaning on a widescreen TV, you will get a few very small black bars at the top and bottom of the image. I did run into an issue though. It took my PC's Blu-ray software about four minutes to load up the disc so I could check out a few things. And when it did, it didn't play the disc properly. The menu refused to show the graphic, only the UI element, the audio skipped, and then it just wasn't functionable. Just to check that there wasn't an issue with my Blu-ray drive in the PC, I loaded up this copy of Red Sorghum and this copy of I Wanna Eat Your Pancreas, and they started up just fine so I think there might be a manufacturing problem with my copy of the disc. I also tested it on a PlayStation 5, which I didn't seem to have any issues with, and I used it to watch the whole movie. The disc also contains another Tony Raines documentary and the theatrical trailer, with the same UI issues on the menu prevalent here as they are with the other discs in this collection. So how's the video quality transfer? The quality of the video is very nice. The box claims it's a new 2K scan of the negative, but this movie has been released on Blu-ray before, so I'm not sure if the transfer is actually new or if they've used the same one. But visually, it's a very pretty movie, with a lot of red tones that show up beautifully on screen, especially during the lantern scenes. Audio-wise, it was crisp and clear, with no music distortion. Unfortunately, due to not being able to secure footage off the disc, I can't really show you anything else. The movie scores a 4 out of 5. This is an excellent film that captured my whole attention for its 2 hour runtime, but I am getting a little sick of Yimou casting Gong Li as an unhappy bride. The presentation scores 1.5 out of 5, losing points for the lacklustre back cover and UI colouring issues, but also losing a point due to the fact my disc won't play on my PC, unlike all the others in the collection so far. So if your disc is not faulty, add 1 point. The transfer scores are 4 out of 5. There was a lot of care and attention when this movie was originally filmed, and it's on display on the disc. I'm also thankful that there seems to have been no post-transfer colouring work done here. I hope you enjoyed this Blu-ray review of Raise the Red Lantern. Next up is the hard to pronounce for me movie, the story of 
to you. Thank you for watching this video and I will catch you next time.